What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video, another follow along. I've got a special one for you today. We're gonna to be looking at this desk chair, what we're doing here, what we're sat, doing some work on the desk and we're gonna look at a routine that you can use to help mitigate some of the effects that the desk can have on your posture and the shortening and tightening of muscles. So let's jump into it. Starting with the neck, we're gonna work on a lateral stretch. So you're gonna grab your right hand, grab hold of the chair, pull your shoulder blade back and down and you're gonna lean your head away to the side. You should feel a pretty nice stretch in the upper trap and into the sternocleidomastoid. Both get commonly tight when we're sat at a desk all day, hunched over. So all you're gonna do here, the key is kind of thinking about pulling the shoulder down and back, opening up the chest, and then just leaning that head to the side. This stretch can be quite intense. There's no need to really aggressively yank on your head. You just need to kind of sit in this position and breathe. You may find that the stretch actually continues down into your arm, into the back of your shoulder. That is a, a good sign. <laughs> Keeping that shoulder in good position, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna end up moving and looking away from our shoulder and this is gonna then move the stretch slightly to the front side of the neck and we're gonna be looking at stretching the scalenes. Just making sure that shoulder stays in good position Again, this one can be quite tight. You can kind of move around, find where it feels tight for you. You might find looking down a little bit better, looking up. Either way, just hold this position and keep breathing. All right, we're just gonna repeat the same on the other side. So grab underneath the chair with your left arm, keep that shoulder back and down, and then just lean away. You might notice that one side is tighter than the other. That's absolutely normal. Um, and all you should do there is just perform an additional set on the tight side, very, very simple. Just keep holding this first lateral stretch. Breathe in and then just look up and away. So the last one, so we just need to keep holding it a little bit longer. Finally, I'm gonna finish up with one stretch on both sides. You need to take your left hand or your right hand place it on your chin, you're gonna tuck your chin, push it under, and then with the other hand, you're just gonna simply pull and lift at the back of your head. I'll rotate so you can see a little bit easier. This is kind of reversing that normal chin out, hunched over posture. We're just gonna work on pushing in and pulling the back of the head up. Should feel a nice stretch kind of around just the back of your neck. Maybe even descending down into the uh, scapula region as well. That is the neck portion done. Next, we're going to move on into the shoulders. A very nice and simple one to start with. You just want to lean back, feel your weight being supported by the chair, grab both hands, place them on the back of your head, and then we're just going to simply try to pull our elbows back and lift our chest up. So if I move to the side, you can see Trying to lift that chest. And I'm really focusing on being active in my back. I'm trying to pull my hands behind my head. I'm not just letting them relax. And I'm just gonna pull for five seconds as we breathe in. And then we're gonna relax as we breathe out. I repeat that three or four times. So I'm gonna pull actively with the shoulders. Really pull those elbows back. Breathe out, relax. Pull again. Oh. Next we're gonna move into a little bit of shoulder extension. So place your hands on the arms of your chair. If you don't have arms, you can just grab the side of your chair. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and, again, force our shoulders down and back when we're gonna try and lift our chest and just pin those elbows back. So you should feel a stretch now into the front of the shoulder, potentially even across the chest. And we're just gonna, again, work on being active. So we're pulling the shoulder blades down and we're trying to lift the chest up. Mm -hmm. 
Nice little modification for this one is if you can get your hands behind your back, you can grab hold of them and then you can just pull your hands down to your side. I can spin all the way around for you. I'm just gonna try and pull your arms like that. Both stretches are great. It kind of depends on the chair that you have. Either way, both of them, you're trying to pull your shoulder blades back and down and lift that chest up while you remain in that nice, deep diaphragmatic breathing. My personal favorite is the one with the arms behind. And the last one we're gonna go for is something called the Lewick Technique. So for this, you're just gonna hold both hands out to the side. You're gonna twist one palm to face down and lift the one that's facing up, up. Look towards that arm. And we're gonna just breathe in. And swap to the other side. So breathe out. Every time you breathe in or out, you just swap sides. So lift up. Raise your palm up and look towards that side. I'm just gonna repeat for a few more of these. You should feel the muscles on your back, especially around the top of your shoulders, just working just to keep your chest up, keep those arms moving. And last one after this. Right, and that is the shoulders done. So now we move on to the hips. And the first one we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at working a little bit of a stretch in our QL. So you're gonna place your right leg across your lap, the closer you move the knee in, the easier it is. And then from here, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna lean away, placing our right hand on the knee, and we're just gonna lean towards the side. What this should do is you should feel a nice stretch just into your lower back. Shouldn't be super intense, just might feel some nice release there. Just keep leaning, making sure you're pushing on that knee, keeping that knee down. And then we can just hold this position spin round so you can see from the other angle. So I'm pushing my knee down. I'm just leaning away to the side. You'll feel this stretch pretty straight away. All right, we've done a few breaths there. Keeping the foot in the same position, we're gonna do is we're gonna place our right arm on that leg. We're gonna try and push it down so it's at parallel. I'm just gonna lean forward over that leg. This one should give you a nice stretch in your glute right underneath where you're sitting. Try and keep that chest up and push the hips forward rather than just rounding over. So chest up, use that elbow, use that forearm to push the knee down and just lean into it. This is a really great stretch for the glutes. Especially that piriformis, I guess very tight when we sit a lot. Right, that side is done now. All we're gonna do is we're gonna put that foot back on the ground, we're gonna lift up our other leg and we're gonna repeat the exact same stretch. So if I rotate round towards you, leg is across, arm is going away, and we're just gonna lean away to the side while keeping that knee down. Again, you should feel that stretch into that lower back. If this isn't quite enough of a stretch for you and you want a little bit more, you can place your other hand on the knee and then you can pull yourself to try and reach round, so if I just turn around, so you're reaching round, almost trying to reach the sky, but you're just gonna keep twisting. I personally prefer the one where you're just sort of leaning down towards the side. And from here, what we can do, keeping that leg in the same position, place that forearm on the knee and just lean forward. Again, remember, keep the chest up and push the lower back forward. Don't let it around too much. Even if you end up only moving this much, that's absolutely fine if you feel a stretch. It's better than just over flexing that lower back as you are all day sat in a chair. I'm just gonna hold for one last deep breath. And as those two done, we're just gonna move on to the last stretch. You're gonna push your chair back. All we're gonna do here is we're gonna lift our right leg behind us, placing the knee on the chair and the foot on the back of the rest. It's called a couch stretch. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna think about squeezing our glute. So if I turn towards you, you're squeezing your bum, pushing your hip forward, and just standing up straight. You should feel a nice stretch 
over the quad, over the hip flexor. And if you want, you can then try to twist around towards your back foot. Make sure you keep that glute squeezed the entire time. Keep pushing those hips forward, keep that glute squeezed, feeling that stretch over the front of your hip into the hip flexor. What we're gonna do here is put that foot back down. I'm just gonna simply perform this on the opposite side. So put your foot back, put your knee on the chair, put hift your hips through, squeeze that glute, and if you want, as an additional bit, you can just twist around to the side. I'm just gonna hold this position. And if we come back down, that is the routine done. It's very simple. As I said, three exercises for each part, for the neck, for the shoulders, for the hips. You can do these in individual groups throughout the day. Take five minutes each hour, work on something that feels tight or just on and off throughout the day. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. Right next to it is also that subscribe button if you wanna join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe and don't miss out on any more future follow along videos, all that good stuff. But that has been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace.